Hello family. Hey, it is Tuesday the 17th of October 2017 and I have come on to do a midweek um, cleansing and toning and facial and all that and chit chat and girl time and knee to knee and all that. Um, I am going to run this straight through. I'm not going to edit it at all so it's going to be whatever it's going to be. Um, today I want to um, cleanse first with this guy and then we're going to tone and then I um, found a charcoal mask that was in one of my beauty boxes and I want to try that and I also want to um, put this lip mask on as well as the other mask and then we're going to use the serum and infuse and we're going to chit chat and we're going to catch up and talk first i want to wash my hands though before i get started i don't know how loud this is going to be i'm trying to not cut it up all the way all the way um wow i just watched uh kishi kaor and Gucci Man, is it Man or Man? Okay. Uh, their wedding, and it was a beautiful wedding. It was really, really a beautiful wedding. It had my heart so full. Oh my God. Hold on one second. Hold up. It had my heart so full, and I mean, oh my God. Wait a minute. I was going back that way for something. There was something I was going back there for, and I have forgotten. Um, first, let me burn a little jasmine. I really like this jasmine from this brand. Um, it's very meditative and soothing uh, to me. It's very settling to my feng shui, shall I say. Um, and I love it. And it just... Um, Puts me in a different type of headspace, you know. I'm feeling good right now. Um, I've had a glass of wine. And I feel real good right now. I just witnessed this wedding and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. And um, being that I was going to come in here and cleanse and everything anyway, I was like, well, you know what? Why not just do this? all at one time but hold on I, I just realized what I was going to go get I just realized it just that quick I was going to go get my rose quartz I'm just feeling that hold on one second hold on Just feeling that, just feeling the love right now. Um, girls, <laughs> where do I begin at? Like, where... <laughs> Where do I begin at? I watched this wedding and it just has me so in my feelings. It was just so beautiful, you know. And, it, and it's such a beautiful thing, you know, for a man to just express his feelings so eloquently. You know, even though, you know, he was reciting what, you know, Pastor said, you know. But still, it was, it was, man, it was just beautiful. Her dress was just, oh my God, it was just beautiful. Um... You know, I know leading up to this, they were talking about how it was the such and such million dollar, this and that. And so I'm like, oh my God, I was really expecting, you know, some coming to America, you know, low key uh, candy and tie 2.0. You know, I was expecting some lions and tigers oh my and you know i was really expecting some stuff but i know she was saying that she wanted to walk on diamonds and so maybe 
you know, being that she was walking like on the glass floor, which is beautiful, okay? Um, uh, maybe there was diamonds in there because she was saying that she wanted to walk on diamonds, so maybe that's where the, you know, the money went to. I don't know. And then, too, uh, you know, they were saying that he... He had bought them both his and her car, so that's probably factored in there, too. You know, I just was really hoping that they would have did less Kim Zodiac and whoever else. You know, we didn't even, I mean, I love me some Karuchi. I mean, you know, Auntie love you, uh, Nugget, but, you know, we could have, um, I'm a little dirty. So, um, I mean, we could have kind of. You know, when with all that and, you know, show us some of the, you know, the, the, you know, the audience and, you know, what music was being played and, you know, I mean, that's what I like. I like it too, but, you know, I wasn't expecting that, you know what I mean? Maybe a little Jeffrey Osborne or maybe Johnny Gill in the corner, you know, singing some pianos hanging from, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know, you know, maybe that's just me, shit, but no less it was beautiful i am not a hater girl that is beautiful and i mean you looked just exquisite your husband looked very nice i love that haircut on a man i find that so sexy that haircut on a man mm, mm, mm. that's how my baby wears his haircut my son um but he's grown it out now and so um now it's more of an afro, you know, and but it still has that same shape, you know what I mean? He looked like somebody from Little Fat Albert and Friends, you know, one of them, how they use him, you know, one of them, anyway. But, uh, yeah, um, but yeah, I like uh, Gucci's haircut, I like that. He got all his, you know, he got all his, what's the name, and I was like, wow. You know, she looked so pretty. Her makeup, her dress, you know, her hair, her headpiece. Oh, my God. That was just, girl, listen. Because, you know, I am always down for a little headpiece quick, okay? You know, I've always been one of them. Let me put this down right here because I don't need it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm one of them. You know, I like that, you know? And, um, so, everything was just beautiful. Her bouquet. Did y'all see the bouquet, ladies? Why was the bouquet all, like, studded up? It was, like, all just crystals all over. Oh, my God. That bouquet was everything. I was like, wow. I mean, I feel so blessed to have been married before in my life, you know? And it's so unfortunate because there's a lot of women have not had the privilege of having a wedding, you know, being a wife, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, to see a woman being granted that, I'm just happy for, her. you know, I mean, man, you know, I can't wait for the show, you know what I mean? Um, but wait a minute, but it seemed like to me, was that Keisha Cole, old friend, Mina? Did, did it seem like that to y'all? I don't know. It just seemed like, I don't know, maybe... I've seen that young lady, one of her, you know, people there before somewhere on something else. I don't know, but I, I, I don't know how I just attached that to Kishiko. Excuse me. I had a glass of wine. So, oh, Harvest is in. Holla. Um, yeah. So, hanging as we speak. Yeah. So, guys, the taste of soul is the weekend, and I'm so looking forward to it. Don't look like I'm going to be able to uh, make me an outfit, so I'm just going to have to don what I have. Um, but, um, so, I'm just going to put on me some jeans or whatever. And so, you know, I like sexy stuff. You know what I mean? I know everybody's supposed to be on some conservative shit and all that, but, you know, I like, I like, I like sexy stuff. I do. I like sexy stuff, girls. I do. So, it's going to be on that magnitude. Okay, let's just be clear on that. Okay? It will be on that magnitude. So, um, yeah. Shout out to love. Girls. Listen. And not only that, but, 
you know, to be loved, for somebody to genuinely love you, you know, really care about you, you know, um, concerned about your well-being, concerned about your children, concerned about your health, you know, pray for you. Listen, listen to me when I tell you, okay, it is a blessing, man. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Yeah. I mean, man, listen, I don't know what cycle I'm coming into. I'm here for it because I, I'm already, you know, I stand firm in the know that I am connected to the divine. Um, I stand fully in love and light. So that is what I received to clear and decree. So, you know, hey, I, I already know it's going. It, it can't be for naught. You know, I'm enjoying this chapter in my life. I'm enjoying um, the journey. You know, everything about it. Everything about it. I'm just enjoying it, you know. I'm taking it for what it is. I'm not putting too much on it. I'm not asking for it too much. Nor more than what I'm willing to give. You feel me? You know, I'm having fun, man. And it's like, I just want to keep that. You know, keep that aspect pri private for now, you know? So, girls, just respect that right now. You know, I know y'all be like, you know, auntie, you know, let us know some. I mean, you can let us know some. Why is all, what's all these secrets? Well, you know, auntie trying to, you know, when you got something real cool, you ain't really trying to, you know, I'm not really trying to put it out there like that right now. I'm just not, you know, I'm not. I'm just enjoying it for where it's at, what we have, and that's, that's, that's what's up, you know. I'm always open for greater, you know what I mean? And if, and if it's greater in him, then bring it forth. Bring it to you know, him. Ready for it. Holla present. Yeah, you know, I'm here for whatever's good, you know. That's right. I'm here for it, okay. All that the universe has to offer, especially when it's good. If you don't sign me up, I'm in that line right down right behind you. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm just trying to keep that aspect a little private, you know. Just trying to keep it private because, you know, for years on here, I've shared so much of my um, personal life and what was going on in my life. Um, did, do I believe that my relationships took a hit? In some cases, probably, um, but, you know, I've always remained, you know, you would just about have to find out who I was with for the most part, you know, because I never really put them out there like that. Now, Kenny, yes, you know, but for the most part, even it was a while before I'd even, you know, brought Ken on board or, you know, you guys had even seen Ken at all. So, you know, I kind of tapered down throughout the years, but now I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know. Until such a time to where, you know, I feel as though it's, you know, uh, you know, it's safe. <laughs> it's safe to dip out and step out or whatever. Then I, I shall do so. But that will be at, you know, at my and our um, comfort level and our own comfort zone. And then, too, you know, another thing, too, when as I'm going through this evolution, you know, you begin to look back at different chapters of your life. You know, as I begin to look back at different chapters of my life, and I'm like, wow. You know, sometimes it seemed like I was dating so much. And it seemed like, um, you know, because I wasn't being forthright with, you know, the specifics it appeared that I was dating a whole lot and I was doing a whole lot. But that was never truly the case, you know. Um, though it's okay, you know. Though it's okay. It's my prerogative to do as I shall feel, you know, especially when it's, you know, pertaining to the well-being of my children, the respect level of my home and my children, then therefore it's run it, Okay. And if that is intact and I'm okay with my soul, then if you don't go ahead on and uh, let me do that, you know, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm single. I'm a, I'm a single, uh, you know, woman in her mid-40s. You know, that's just, I'm living life on my own terms right now. So really, it's like, what am I supposed to be doing, you know? 
it's like what would you be doing you know so I've, i i'm like okay let me get away from talking about certain things because after a while you know it becomes redundant so certain things i won't constantly be reiterating you know anymore you know allow allow things to just speak for itself you know less talking let more doing you know what i mean so i'm kind of on that page just pretty much just showing what's up you know without you know just totally you know putting out the who's and the you know all that but just know that auntie is is good i feel safe um i oh my god y'all i some days i just feel like i am just literally on fire you know because i it's like my life seems to be like I'm walking on path of purpose, you know. It's like I'm going the right way. And I worked so hard for so long internally on my own self, you know. Um and throughout um this journey, it has it has truly um uh shifted, you know, my close friendships and relationships and whatnot. It kind of moved people around and people about in my cabin, you know, um, not in a bad way, not, um, in a negative sense to where, as you know, I have any enemies or any bad blood. No. Um, it's just the fact that as you begin to evolve, um, sometimes you just move past some people. Doesn't mean that you're above them or ahead of them or nothing like that. It just seemed like, you know, there's a fork in the road and you're going that way and they're going that way. Um, Nothing is meant to last, you know, forever. And sometimes you have to embrace the changes of your journey. You know, quit asking so many questions. It ain't up to you no way. You know, um, it's best to understand and know that if you're making good conscientious decisions and choices, you're thinking through things, you know, um, you're being prudent, respectful, and you're standing in honor then therefore you have to stand in and know that your decisions are the best ones out of the options that you had to make. You know, and that's the way I look at things. You know, whatever decisions I'm making, man, it's based off the, 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 the best options that I had to work with. You know, and I don't make no rash decisions. I don't jump and do things. I'm not an impulsive type of person. Um, with uh, my maturity... I have also slowed down a bit, you know, just kind of slow and just on some, you know, some chill, you know, some zen, you feel me? So, you know, so, man, it's just, it's just such a good time. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful because it's like, man, you know, yeah, I might not have the best of stuff, you know, but I'm grateful for what I have. I might not have, you know, all this hell of an income and, you know, driving the best of this or living in the best of that or none of that. I, I don't have that. I don't have a stylist. I can't do my makeup, you know. I'm, I'm trying, you know, to um, do my things, you know, with what I have, you know. And I'm just grateful for it, you know. And I'm just putting in the works. So, and I'm just standing in faith that it's going to turn out all right, all right? All right. Yeah, because I, I, don't, I, I, I don't mean no harm to nothing or nobody. I'm over here minding my own business. So, yeah. Um, the other day when I was talking, I was talking about when I had went on the base and all that stuff. Y'all, when I get, man, listen, let me tell you something. When it's time for me to get, you know, a lot of different products, I'm from here on out, I'm not messing with nothing else but the commissary. Real, you know, you know, real stuff. I ain't, I, look, and the BX, because the prices are completely, like, off the chain. Now, uh, I had got this on base for $3. $3 for that one. And three dollars for the for the uh gel. Three dollars. Three dollars. And that's not a sale price, that's just regular everyday price. You know, so it's like, man, why should I, you know, be, you know, no. I mean, yeah, 
It is a little distance because it's not close to me, so it's about 30 miles away. But, you know, it's worth the drive. It's, you know, it's worth the alone time, you know, put my sunroof back, put Pandora, you know what I'm saying, through my uh, uh, speaker system and roll out. You feel me? That's what it's all about. It's truly about living in this life, you know. I mean, things are happening at a rapid rate almost every day. We're hearing about all kind of things that are going on in the world. All kind of just catastrophic weather phenomenons and, you know, you know, people just doing it, moving. And it's just, man, you know, we have to definitely stay in prayer right now. You know what I mean? And we truly ain't got time to be hating on nobody and what nobody else got going on. That's crazy. Really? Man, you only got one life to live. If you don't live this one in color, if you don't have fun while doing it, and taste everything. You hear me? Taste everything. Now, if it's going against your better judgment, or it's going against your value system, or it's going against your, you know, your act right or whatever, then don't put your mouth on it. You feel me? But if you already open for some, you know what, I ain't going to do nothing but learn from it. You know what, it might not be bomb, but you know what, uh, you know, I'm just going to do this one time. You know, whatever your get down is, apparently somebody must be getting ready to get in the shower. I know it's probably loud now. Yeah, I think somebody's getting in the shower. But yeah, so if it's not like that, then don't do it. See, the whole point of the matter is you're supposed to do things that set your soul on fire. If it don't feel good, don't do it. Why are you doing that and if it, and it don't feel good? That don't make no sense. Quit that. Quit doing that. Stop that. You know what I'm saying? Because you know if it feel good, it's right. You know what I'm saying? If it don't feel good, it ain't right. Something wrong. Something wrong with that whole get down, the whole scenario, the whole storyline, the whole product, everything is raggedy. So no, if it don't feel right, it ain't right. You know, and that's the way you really, really, really need to look at life. And I'm going to tell you, you know, your intuition is everything. That's going to give you cues. You know what I'm saying? That's your soul language. You know, and a lot of people don't listen to their intuition. You know, you really need to listen to your intuition. And I always pick the thing farthest to the left. That's just the way I do business. Farthest to the left, man. You know, yeah. The first thing that come to my mind, I'm going with that. You feel me? So, yeah. You know. And then, you know, I can't say enough about, you know, I really be looking, you know, for signs and things like that. You know, I really, uh, you know... I'm interested in, you know, the, the angel numbers and stuff like that. My 1111s and stuff like that. You know, I'm really motivated by certain things. You know, I have a respect for, you know, different things in this life. You know, I have, because I just feel like this right here. If I just shut it down and say, you know what, I'm, you know what, I'm just not going to read up on that. You know what, I'm just not going to do that. I ain't going there. I'm not going to ever eat that. I'm not going to ever do that. I'm not going to ever go there. Then therefore, you know what? You're putting a ceiling in the floor. And in this life, man, the, uh, me right now, I, look, limitless, limitless, abundance, abundantly, unprecedented, yeah, you know, soaring, you know, right now I'm sowing um, further seeds, you know, and sometimes when I'm in this manifestation mode, it makes me become more so of a hermit. And, you know, spend a lot of a long time, you know, with my with myself. You know, I do a lot of journaling at this time. I do a lot of uh, daydreaming. You know, I have to put myself there in those instances. I have to feel it and see it, you know. So, yeah. Um, I'm truly manifesting right now for abundance, good health, wealth. Unprecedented favor, grace, mercy, yes, goodwill, yeah, you know, 
financial stability, so many things, you know. And you have to truly call these things into your existence. You have to call these things into your reality. You know, you have to speak it with your own mouth and believe that it will happen. Believe that it will manifest. Believe that it that your words are just for not. They're, that they are for not. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to believe that your prayers will not come back void. So, you know, I'm one of them. You know, I'm so many things. I'm multifaceted, you know. I believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes. I, too, believe that I am Egyptian imported and dipped in lace. How, you know. Yeah. I'll be on some deity type stuff. For real. I truly believe that I am a descendant of, of, of something truly special. You know, of, of course I am sheltered by the shepherd and I am a child of the most high, but I also feel as though my my roots and my, my beginning, you know, has truly come from a beautiful, you know, royalty type background. That is just what I believe, you know. And um, I do believe in evolution. I believe in those types of things, you know. I'm an enthusiast, you know. I don't know everything, you know. And I'm a nonfiction reader. I like to know. You know, and one thing about um, being fully engulfed in your spiritual journey, you know, you have to understand that your spiritual journey and your religious journey are similar to the same, but your spiritual journey, what sets it aside is the fact that you're finding out more about you, more uh, things about what you don't like. You, you tend to um, be willing to face your shadow and... Um, also, you're not intimidated by it. Um, I no longer fear adversity and challenges. Whereas there was once upon a time, it was like, oh, please don't allow nothing to go wrong. Don't allow nothing to go wrong. And then Holy Spirit had to tell me one day, like, wait a minute, you know, this is how you learn. This is how you grow. It's called growing pains. You know, you have to go through things to get to where you're going, you know. And if, and if your path... Um, is just a straight narrow shot then really how eventful would that be you know if you had no perils and no pebbles in your path of progress you know no so i truly embrace it i'm grateful you know there are some things that i probably you know should have done better there's some things i probably should have said you know i'm still apologizing and i still you know I'm truly apologetic for, you know, my transgressions on, you know, at those times in my life, I didn't know who I was. I was trying to figure it out, you know, still some days it still kind of wavers, you know what I mean? It's a journey, you know, I don't just wake up jovial every day, you know, um, and I had to put pieces in plan to allow my life to be lived a certain type of way. Um, and, uh, I thought long and hard and I meditated and I prayed and I wrote and man, and, and manifestation is real. Okay. Call some beautiful things into your lives, family. I'm telling you, it works. You know, quit talking about what you don't want and start talking about what sets your soul on fire. Start with that. Quit giving, um, energy to negative things. Quit talking about the the bad things that happen in the relationships and the bad things that happen in your past and the bad things that happen on the job and stop talking about the, the shots you never took. Quit it. You know what I mean? Because what you have to understand is God is still setting you up for something so great if you believe in it. And stand firm and know that it will happen. But you got to do the works. And see, that's where I'm at. I'm, 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 I'm in the working um, 
stands right now. That's where I'm at in my path. And, and, and I'm, in, I'm coming out of a cycle and entering into another one. And, um, man, I'm, I'm just embracing it, you know. I'm embracing it. I'm embracing what's to come. You know, I'm not taking nothing for granted, you know. Um, I don't want to force no connections or force things or anything like that. I want to stand firmly in my truth. And if I don't like it, I want to say, you know what, I don't like that. You know, I don't want that. I'm sorry, I, it doesn't feel settling to my feng shui, you know. And be okay with that. And, you know, that's a hard thing to do, you know. Because, you know, I'm laced in empath. Let's not get it twisted. And when you're laced in empath and empathy, you know, you tend to, you know, want to make sure everything, everybody else is all right, you know. And a lot of times people, other people's needs come before your own. But as I begin to further along in my journey, I know that, you know, fear is nothing more than things that I don't like. If that makes sense that's the way I'm looking at it you know and I have to also I also um, look at the fact that I think this is about done because it's starting to grab a little bit it's drying up I don't want to put no water on it one of my girls was like I um spritz water on it when the gel began to dry up, see, I won't do that one because I'm going to tell you, this it already gives you like an electrical current, electrical shock. And if I put water with it, nah, I just reapply some product. <laughs> but I'm just, you know, riding it out and not grabbing more product. But I think I'm getting up to my 15 minutes now, though. I haven't checked the time, so I don't know how long I've been doing this, but I know it should be about time. So as I come down on this end, I'm just going to call it a a day on this. I see that the, um, the colors are changing as far as the uh, this part, so it probably needs to charge some. Um, how many times do you use this? Um, you're supposed to use it a couple days out of the week. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe in the manual it says most days out of the week, but not every day. So, of course, you will skip a day, you know. Just like with my laser hair treatments, I have to skip a day on that. I can't use that every day. Um, even with my red light treatments, I don't do those every day. You know, I do allow my you know, things to kind of rest a little bit. Okay, so. What do you think? Well, I'll tell you one thing, though. It does work. And I ask that, you know, whatever I, I'm speaking on, or whatever. I don't know everything. Don't come in my, um, what's the name with, oh, well, that ain't how that work, and that don't this, this, right here, this, 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 this. I don't know everything, okay? I'm still laced in human frailties. I'm, I'm, I'm a flesh, you know, I'm a sinner, you know what I mean? I make mistakes. I don't know everything. I'm a student, you know? And in some arenas, I might be a teacher, but I'm a student. And the rest of my existence, in whichever form I become, I'm going to forever be a student. I'm going to forever have to be patient. There's always going to be waiting. There's so many things, you know. And I'm here for it. How about that? I'm here for it. Less complaining. And just roll with it. Know that it is for good. That's the reason you stand in love and light. And as I hashtag all the time, live, love, learn, love, and light. You know, that is my hashtag. 
on my social medias. And with that, you have to be okay with change. You have to surrender. You know, surrender to change and be okay with it. You know, you have to trust you. I trust me today. There was a time that I didn't trust me, you know. I didn't trust me, but I bet you, you know what? I trust me now. I've learned so much about me. That's why I hold no regret. I hold no regret for the people that have entered in and out of my path. Because we learn so much about one another. About love. About friendships. About truth. Man. About how we were raised. And oh man. Woof. Start embracing that. Start embracing the change. And everything that goes with it. Don't look at it that it's, you know, it's an obstacle and all that kind of stuff. Quit looking at things that it's, you know, it's all bad. Everything ain't all bad. It ain't nothing but a learning experience, family. You're going to learn from it. You know what I'm saying? There's no elders learn, okay? And then, because if you don't get it, just know God didn't give it to you because he's preparing you for something better. He's getting you set up. Quit complaining so much. Alright, so we're going to come back with this purifying 2-in-1 charcoal mask. And it's made by Dorme. Dorme. With marine allergy and activated charcoal. <laughs> Excuse me. Like I need to burp. So we're going to use this here. A minute. Yes. No, you didn't. Okay. So let's see how this works. I've never used the clay mask. Everybody always posted a little clay mask and all that stuff. So when I was going through my boxes and I saw that I had one, and I said, Well, this will be the way I would be able to try it out. Shout out to Rose Quartz. I needed the energy. Oh, why did I put that on my lips and I wasn't supposed to? I was going to use that other thing. Man, now we can't. Oh, man. Oh, well. Because I'm not getting ready to, I'm not getting ready to take it off now. It's already starting to tighten up. So, next time we're going to use the lip scrub. And see what's up on that. This time we'll just roll with this right here. So yeah, taste the soul. I'm gonna put on me some little jeans. Or, you know what I'm saying? Some kind of little old camisole top or something. And bodysuit or something like that. And go on and get it on down there. I want to put some more on my neck. Just a little bit more on my neck. I think necks, necks are, I just... I think having a nice neck is just so sexy, isn't it? You know, a nice clean neck, you know, on a man or a woman. You know, I just feel, I don't know, I just like that, a nice neck, you know. I don't know. I'm a touchy-feely type of person. I like to be up under you anyway. So, yeah, cleanliness is, is next to godliness to me because, you know, if you got some form of hygiene issue, that's just not going to work. You know, it's not going to work with me. Because I, I I love to be, you know, I'm one of them, I'm like a little snuggle bunny. You know, I like to snuggle and cuddle and all that kind of stuff. 
lay on top of you, lay up under you, and all that old type of stuff, you know? And, um, you know, so hygiene is huge with me, you know? So, I guess I'm supposed to probably wait until all of it turns white. That would make sense because it's like right before my eyes. I kind of wished I would have put some on my lips a little bit better because I love the way it feels. Let me put just a little bit. It's warm. It's like it is activated. And I'm going to tell you, I have um, this scrub right here. Oh, my God. I got this from a day spa that I had went to. And, oh, my God, it was worth its weight. I had paid like $50 for this. and But it heats up. This is so bomb. Oh, my God. And I keep it, and I've had it for years, and I just use it sparingly because it was, you know, at that time, that $50 meant something to me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I use it sparingly, but it, too, you know, heats up. And hold on, let me show you another one, something else that. That also heats up. I'll let you know I've been having this for a long time and it's full too. This is the Ole Regenerates Daily Thermal Mini Peel. I know it looked crazy, but it was in my my little um caddy over there that you know remember I was telling you guys that you need to have a caddy in your bathroom. Let me show you. Hold on. Uh, take these top things out of it of it. Then I can show you what it looks like, what my caddy looks like. This is just one of them. It's a little dusty, so I'm not going to come all up on it too tough. But yeah, this is sitting in here like this. <clears throat> yeah, girls, I think we're supposed to Keep it on there until it turns white like this, huh? How come I didn't put none right there in the crease right? I missed the spot right there. Should I put some right there? I think the ship done sailed on that, but I'm going to still... Because I'm a little cantankerous like that. Because <laughs> it do feel magnificent. I do tell you that much. This is by who? Y'all, this stuff seems like it's going to be pretty good. You know? As it dries, it does... You know, tighten up. Purifying 2-in-1 charcoal mask with marine allergy and activated charcoal. All right. I could dig it. This was in one of these boxes. So, yeah, we won with that. That's cool. I love it. So, we're just going to allow this part to get white. And then we're going to uh, begin to take it off. We are going to use our serum. Y'all, I love this. Oh, my God, I love this, love this, love this. And let me tell you one thing that I do in the morning. In the morning, I don't wash my face with um, cleanser in the morning. I, I rinse my um, eyes out because I wear contact lenses. So I rinse my eyes out in the morning. And then I just splash my face and blot it with a crisp, clean towel, you know. So whatever the remnant from last night is still probably still right there. And I just roll with it, you know. Um, and so that is my daily routine. I like to, you know, take the night off by, you know, showering and, you know, and going through my rituals at night because I like to rest, 
you know, when I get in the bed. I like to, when I shut it down and, 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 and everything, I like to really, you know, really get in that mode like that. So, um, hold on one second. So yeah, it's about time, girls. I would say so. Now, um, let me see how I'm gonna do this because, well, I'm gonna have to do it back with my towel because I have my tripod sitting on top of my vessel and I have an above the counter um, vessel, a bowl that sits on top of my counter and um, my tripod is sitting on top of the vessel so I don't want to lean down and rinse it like that for sake of you know moving the placement so Shout out to Keisha Kaor. Girl, he loves you. It is so beautiful when a man loves a woman, isn't it? I mean, I know women get mad at other women, you know, that, you know, find love and stuff like that. You know, because it's scarce nowadays. To find love, it ain't everywhere, you know. Because everybody is so used to dealing with the wrong people to where when you finally meet somebody, you guys are both scared of each other. So sometimes things don't work out right and you guys end up canceling each other out. And uh, it becomes a never ending cycle. This dating stuff is a trip. You know, it's a trip. It is a trip. So. You know what? I'm just going to be thankful and grateful for the love that I have. You know? This is this is my here and now. You know? And it was so cool because from the beginning, you know, it's like, you know, I want you to know your worth. I want you to know what you're worth. You know? I want to show you how, what, you know, being loved genuinely feels like. And I have to say, I've known love, but, you know, everybody don't love the same, you know. But so to say that my exes didn't love me, that wouldn't be a fair statement because in, in their own way, you know, I believe that there was a great deal of love, you know. So, but the love that I have entered into... Wow. It's unprecedented. It's a love I've never I've never known anybody to, you know, to feel this type of love for me. You know, so and it's daunting, ladies, you know. There's been times where I've been, you know, low key sabotaging and all kinds of stuff because, you know, I'm just not accustomed to this type of love. I'm not accustomed to it, you know. And I don't want to act brand new like, you know, but I am. You feel me? Low key, I am. So, let's just be clear on that part. Yes, Jeffrey Osborne. Jeffrey Osborne and Boney James going to be somewhere on New Year's Eve. I want to go to a New Year's Eve party so bad. I want to go to a New Year's Eve party. I want to go to a masquerade ball. Quit it. Okay? And, um... Uh, those are two things that I really want to do. Okay, now, it is kind of drying because even I can feel like the, the tips of these fingers and the tips of this finger that I use to do all this with, it's a little dry. So, yeah, we look real good at doing this. 
because this is our serum that we used the other night from Dr. Gross, Gross, excuse me, clinical, clinical concentrated hydration boost. This is some good stuff, man. And I'm going to use it the same way I used it the other night. And that was boom, boom, boom. Something like that. This time I used more than I did last time, though. But I also feel like I'm going to need it. Because that mask seemed like that would be a little drying. You know? Oh, trust me, I'm going to follow up with a little coconut oil. And I love coconut oil on my face, on my hair, on my body. You know, I um, also oil pull with it. And I love, love, love con coconut oil. Oh, shit, wait a minute, y'all. Y'all ain't said nothing about this right here. Oh, man. I didn't even see that, y'all. And I know y'all was like, wait a minute, Auntie, is some still right there? Auntie didn't know. Man, let me make sure it's off, too. Good. Because I'm just talking. I ain't even looking in the camera. I'm just on what I'm on. I ain't looking in the mirror, none of that, Harley. As you can see, I'm just doing me, you know, just in my, you know, in my, what's her name? In my feelings. In my ritual, you know, I'm doing me. I'm on Tina's time right now. My house is quiet. You know, the kids are in the other part of the house. And this is what's up. This is, this is what I do in my boudoir. I tend to me, you know. Shh. Man, I have three children, and I have tended to their needs all their life, you know what I mean? And neglected some of my own sometimes. As a mama, we just tend to do that. But now that I no longer have to make sure their faces is washed, that's my song. Oh, my God. That's my song. So being that I don't have to, you know, I still wash my kids' hair, though, on the weekends. I line them up and wash their hair and give them a good massage and, you know, talk to them in their ear and shit. And, you know, tell them how much I love them and, you know, how much I believe in them and stuff. So I still do that. But, uh, coconut oil. Auntie, what's oil pulling? Well, oil pulling, I did a video about it. Do your research about it. Oil pulling is awesome. I mean, it is absolutely awesome. Uh, it's detoxifying of your system, your mucous membranes, you know. Increases lymphatic drainage, all that, plus whitens your teeth. It reverses any type of gingivitis type of situations or stages, tooth decay, it boosts enamel, all kinds of stuff. Research it. And that's why I have my spoon in here, because I'll spoon out my, uh, I never put my hands in my oil. I always rinse my spoon, and, uh, because I use this oil for so many different things. My hair, my face, my body, you know, and for oil pulling, so, but yeah. Do your research on that because it is truly an awesome look. Okay. So now,
cooking videos and they're having even begun to get edited and everything. Up first and then get back in order on those it will be the carnations. Then it will be the coffee cake. Then it will be tonight's dinner, which was um, smothered um For me, in my 40s, was self-discovering and, you know, really knowing who I was. And that's what this decade has been, self-discovery. You know, knowing what I like, what I don't, what I'm willing to sign up for, what I'm, what I'm not, where I'm willing to be in, what I'm willing to sacrifice for, and what I'm willing to surrender to. So, we're going to calm my face down a little bit with a little mist, and we're going to call it a night. And we're going to come back on here on Friday. Let me tell you how this is going to go. Now, Friday is my son's homecoming game. So, I'm going to go to the game. I'm going to probably do this, if not late Friday night. And then early Saturday morning, I'm getting up and heading down to Los Angeles for the Taste of Soul. So, but I know that um, I have to you know, tone, you know, every other day or so. And so being that I toned Friday, then I'm toning today, and then I tone Friday again. That's my, that's the way in which I do it. So three days a week is good enough for me. Um, and I've been doing this for some time now, the words it's pretty much just a maintenance. As I pull in closer, as you guys can see my face,
Yeah. Wow. I feel the energy of this, the love from it. It's just radiating. So, anyway, family, I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. We shall meet up again on Friday. I'll do a red light treatment on Friday. I just don't feel like it now. I'm ready to relax. Woosa. You know, enjoy me another little glass of wine and chill out. All right, family, I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. You guys have an awesome night. Enjoy your path. Enjoy the journey. Absorb it. Take it all in. Be patient with the process. Only speak what you want to manifest. And keep it in love and light. Know that you're always going to be a student. And sometimes, you know what? You just have to laugh at things. On that note, family, I love you. And I say unto you, good night. Bye-bye for now.